Welcome to Aid to the Church in Needs, Where God Weeps, a program dedicated to the situation of the suffering church around the world. Myanmar is one such country where Christians are suffering severe persecution. Christians make up less than 1% of the total population, and the majority of these find themselves among the ethnic tribes ranging along the border between Myanmar and Thailand. Most of the population live in small villages and towns with an average daily income of about one dollar, many struggle just to have one meal of rice a day. Only 20% have electricity and only 25% of young people go to school. With poor sanitation and health service, the population is quickly subjected to diseases such as tuberculosis, cholera and malaria. With over 100 tribal groups, the country's ethnic landscape is the most diverse in Southeast Asia. It is an explosive patchwork, and the coincidence of ethnicity and religion has deepened the divisions between the ethnic groups. Government violence and persecution against these ethnic tribes have forced many to flee across the border into Thailand. The government responds by forcible relocation, village burnings, and extrajudicial executions. Additionally, the ill-equipped government forces continually confiscate food and use civilians for forced labor. The Catholic Church, the Thai government and other NGOs have set up refugee camps to provide education, stability and food. We are doing specifically for the most vulnerable person, uh, the senior citizen, the orphan, the handicapped. These are the target people. It is more or less 20,000 that we are taking care of. For the church, this ongoing ethnic cleansing is particularly poignant as the majority of the ethnic tribes are Catholic. Burmese people, uh, I mean the Catholic people, is difficult to be promoted in the government. If we want to build the church, it is not easy. If we want to celebrate a big event, you need to ask permission. And when the priests want to travel from one village to another village, you are under control. There are many restrictions to the work of the church. Whereas the government is giving money to the Buddhists to build the new pagodas all over the country. In the communist regime, they are afraid of the church because the church is worldwide network, very organized. So when you have the problems in one area, the others all over the world pay attention to that incidence. This is why the church should be controlled, because it is powerful. 